I'm getting ready to go to this a quarantine kickback. Don't tell me about it. Don't be with my boyfriend. It's only two hours long. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story of when I got attacked by a river. So don't judge me for how I do my makeup because I don't know what I'm doing. I just know how to do my eyes and that's pretty much where my expertise ends and even in that area, I'm not an expert. So I'm just gonna start with some of this. All right, so this was about two years ago and me and my best friend slash roommate, we both, you know, shared an apartment together. And when we moved in together, we made an agreement that, you know, she was afraid of spiders and I was less afraid of spiders than she is, was. I need to talk in the same, the same tense. I am less afraid of spiders than she is, even though I still am afraid. And I am more afraid of roaches than she is because she, you know, from the country. So, I mean, she don't mind killing a roach, it's fine. I can't bring myself to kill them. You don't win either way. If you spray it, you gotta watch them squirm. If you squish them, you gotta hear them crunch and then you gotta dispose of the corpse. It's just a lot, like, it's just a lot. It's her job to kill all the roaches. I'll kill the spiders, cool. This day, she happened not to be home. I had gotten up, I was about to get ready to go to work. Around that time, I was working like four jobs. So I think my first job of that day was like working at the daycare and then going to work at the boutique later or going to teach an art class. I don't remember the order. And to be honest, I don't remember what jobs I was doing that day, except for that I was really stressed out all the time. Never got any sleep, panic attacks like every other day. So I get up to go take a shower and you know, just minding my own business, just, just innocently, you know, not expecting anything, go to take a shower. That's what we're called to do. We're just called to take showers every day. I get in the bathroom, you know, I turn on, you know, it's hard for me to tell a story and put on makeup at the same time. Maybe I shouldn't do this again. I don't know how people do it and they do it so good. So I get in the shower, get the water warmed up, get my clothes ready, you know. My room was kind of a mess because my life was a mess at the time still is and I don't know if this goes here but it is gonna go today and I get in the shower the water's warm I feel safe you know and then as I'm reaching for my washcloth literally like in a split second like as soon as as the sight, as soon as my brain understood the signal of what I was seeing, like I was, I flew out the shower. And basically like it was just this, I call them roaches, they're all roaches to me, but here it's a palmetto bug. I don't know why they wanted to give such a cute name to such an ugly creature. It's a roach in my eyes. And I saw it just crawl over my washcloth or my body like slid from underneath my skin, like my soul just lift it up. Take me Jesus's time. Instead, I just hopped out the shower. I get out the shower, I run into my room. I almost ran out my room just in general, but I knew my roommate's boyfriend was there and that probably would have been a good thing. So I stopped in my room, I grabbed like some clothes, I threw it on and then I go to hit her room and I'm like banging like on the door. Open the door, open the door. I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a roach in my shower and I can't get it. You know, I hear him grumble. Can you please just come and kill it? Because I can't do it. So he comes and it was big. I was like, I'm sorry for my room being such a mess and whatever you see in the bathroom, but there's a roach in the bathroom, I have to get ready to work and I can't, I can't go do it myself. And he was like, okay. So he goes in the bathroom. He's looking for it. Like it's taking him a long time. And I'm like, what's taking him so long? What's taking him so long to find this roach? And I'm like, did you, do you see it? It's in there, it's big. It was on my washcloth and he was like, no, I don't see it yet. I don't see it. Maybe, you know, I don't see it. Maybe it's not in here. Well, where could it be? And why is it not there? He's like, yeah, I don't see it in here. Maybe it crawled into the wall. The wall? The wall? There's so many of them in our apartment. He starts looking, he looks, and then he's like, oh, I see it. I ran out that room so fast into the kitchen. I don't know why, I can't help it. I ran out 
into the kitchen. Did you get it? Did you get it? In the kitchen, like jumping around. Did you get it? Did you get it? And he's like, you know, spraying it with something or trying to hit it with something or trying to drown it with the shower or something like that. It's like, all right, I killed it. And I was like, okay, can you dispose of the corpse? He gets rid of it too. And then he's like, he goes on about his business and I'm just like, now I have to go in there by myself. You know, I have to be brave. I have to get ready for work. I don't think this dual makeup and telling a story thing is for me, by the way. You no, know, I kind of just stand in front of my room kind of contemplating how I'm going to force myself to walk in there because my fear of roaches is very irrational. I know they can't fight me. I know they can't do anything to me except for maybe pass along some kind of really terrible disease. But I'm so thoroughly disgusted with them that you know, I kind of want to throw away the whole place in which they were at. Wherever they were, I don't want to deal with it anymore. And I probably got it from my mom because when we first moved to South Carolina and my parents bought this beautiful house and, and the first day we move in, we see like dead roaches on the floor. And I swear my mom wanted to give the house back. She didn't want it anymore. So yeah, it's not my fault. I decided that I was gonna take a summer walker bath instead of hopping in the shower again to be attacked. I grabbed a bowl out the kitchen, I put some hot water in it, grabbed a washcloth, I did what I had to do. I manned up. <laughs> in the furthest part of my room away from the bathroom. I'm not cut out for this makeup thing. You no, know, I grabbed some clothes very carefully, very slowly. I was definitely late for work more late than I usually am because I'm usually late to work, but this time I was even more late because of the attack. When I finally get ready and get dressed and go to all 27 of my jobs for the day, I get home and I would usually get home before my roommate and around that time, like I would get home before her and I would cook dinner for both of us. Her, she hated her job. She was always so tired by the time she got home from work. I was like a little housewife. And when I pulled up to the, to the house or our apartment, I waited in the parking lot because I wasn't gonna go in there by myself to be attacked again. I just really couldn't bring myself to just go in there by myself. It was so big, you guys weren't there, you don't understand. So I waited in my car for like 20 minutes and then I was like, okay, she's not here. And I think I texted her and she was like, oh, she was doing something else and so she wasn't gonna be home. And by the time like I realized that I was, um, it was dark outside, so I knew it would be dark in my apartment, which left me at a disadvantage against any other potential palmetto bugs that were in there. And our apartment wasn't like yucky, like our apartment was clean. You know, I'm, I'm very prideful about like my in, interior decorating. So like our living room was clean, my room was messy. I had clothes everywhere, but my life was a mess. So it matched the inside of my mind. I didn't really eat in my room. My leg is numb. I didn't really eat in my room because I didn't want to attract any of the, the lovely palmetto bugs. So I was like, okay, she's not coming back. What am I gonna do? Cause I'm not going in there by myself. I call my dad and you guys can judge me all you want. I'm a daddy's girl. Like, hey daddy, so this morning I found a huge roach in my shower on my washcloth and it tried to attack me. It's like, oh, and I was like, yeah, um, but you know, Sam's boyfriend was there and he killed it and whatever. But you know, I'm, I'm sitting in the parking lot at my apartment and I just can't go inside. It was like, Drea, I was like, yeah. He was like, all right, I'm coming over. I was like, yes. My dad loves me. Dad was like, I'm on my way over. I'll come get you. And you know, you can pack up some clothes and you can spend the night at, at me and your mom's house. I was just so happy that, you know, he didn't laugh at me because I was really seriously not gonna go in there. He drove over and the thing is my parents live like 25 minutes away. So 25 minutes feels like 45 minutes, especially when I'm driving over there. We go inside my apartment and I was like, you go in first and just check everything and make sure there's no roaches. And so he goes into the apartment. He's like, I don't see anything. And I was like, okay, now go in my room. And he goes into my room. He was like, I don't see anything. I was like, move things around and shake it up. So, you know, he's moving the blankets on my bed. 
He's moving the clothes in my closet, shaking it up, goes into the bathroom, moves things around. He checks everything thoroughly before I go in there. And while he was doing that, like I had a flashback of my childhood and I remember him doing the same exact thing for my mom. He's so sweet. I love my dad. I don't know if my eyebrows are the same. I wish I was as good as those makeup people on Instagram. All those like really pretty brown skin girls who are like, this is my Morphe brush. This is my Kat Von D. This is all the other things that I use that you can't afford. I got all of my stuff from like the dollar store or for free or like stuff that my friends left at my house. Shout out to Tamaya for leaving like three of her brushes. Thank you. This cost a lot of money. This was like $40, but that's only because they said, hey, I'm gonna send you a free test trial. I was like, oh, okay, go ahead. I got it. I tested it and I was like, I'm just gonna send it back after I'm done because that's what you can do. And um, I forgot to send it back and they charged me like 40 something, 50 bucks for it. And I was just too lazy to just, so I was like, it's mine now. I'm just gonna keep it. Now this is my prized possession. Look at eyebrows. I'm good at eyebrows usually. It's usually what I, the only thing that I do. All right, I was telling a story. Where was I? Yes, my, we went to my parents' house. The next day was Saturday, so I didn't have to get up to go to work early. I did have to go to one of my six jobs though, later on in that day. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna walk inside and my brother was off to college and my sister, she's a teenager now, so she don't pay attention to anything. I thought I was gonna walk inside and my mom was gonna laugh at me and my dad was gonna laugh at me, but we all just in the kitchen. You know, my dad asked me if I'm hungry, which is like my love language. And I was like, yes. And you know, they fed me food and my mom fixed me some tea. You know, I just felt very loved. I was getting a lot of attention. <laughs> I was getting a lot of sympathy from them. And then my mom, she just kind of sits in front of me. She was like, well, I guess this is my fault, huh? And I was like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And my dad was like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when, you know, you and Sam are not roommates anymore? Like, I was like, I'm gonna keep on calling you. Once I get a boyfriend, he's just gonna have to understand that that's what comes in the package. My boyfriend, currently, because I didn't have one two years ago. He understands that. I'm not even down my face. I don't know how people do this. Quarantine kickback. La, 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 la. I don't know if on this iPhone, my eyebrows look good or not. I'm a little disappointed. I can't tell because I'm looking at a mirror that's literally like 50 yards away. This is stressful. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some of this. Yeah, I was supposed to have my makeup done by the end of the story, but I didn't. So, I guess I suck at YouTube. I don't know. How do the makeup people finish the story right when they finish their makeup? I know I'm not using the right thing for this. Don't judge me. I know I'm not doing this right. I've never claimed to be a makeup guru or a glam squad. When you do stuff with your eyes, you gotta make this face. I don't know why. Ooh. No, that's kind of vain. Never mind. Take it back. Now I'm going to use this WD-40 brush to do my crease. I saw one YouTuber say you always do this like, right here. Use this 12 gauge brush for my crease. It's all in the facial expressions. Every time I do my makeup, it always ends up it ends up looking like this because don't know how to do anything else. Some um, lip gloss that I took from out of my mom's bathroom underneath her sink like five years ago. So nowadays when I see a roach, if it's small, I, I like, if it's small, I'll kill it by myself. I'll do that. When it's bigger, I, I grab the bug spray but I still like, it's hard for me to throw it away or, or dispose of its body because then I have to get closer to it and then it does a bunch of twitching. It just, they just don't die. Like, I know, it's, I mean, I don't know. I appreciate all of God's creatures, creatures, creatures. That's just one I'm just not sure about. When I get up there, I'm gonna just ask him about it. Like, what was the purpose? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Okay.
okay. I think I'm pretty now. Let me get some mascara. I also usually don't wear a whole lot of makeup, as you'll see in my other videos. It's all in how you fix your face. But if you like the video, thumbs up, just thumbs up. And if you don't like it, why don't you like it? Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. I have a TikTok. You can follow me there too. I also have a Twitter, but I don't know how to do Twitter. I'm not good at it. The only person that retweets me is my boyfriend. And when he doesn't, it's like nothing happens. I think I've done all the things.